you or a team member ever pushed changes to a code base which resulted in unexpected side effects? Have manual code reviews become insufficient for ensuring that all of your code meets quality standards before being deployed? You can address both of these problems with a tool developers have used for decades, automated unit testing. Functions shipped with support for the Jest unit testing library out of the box, but Jest alone can't mock references to the ontology objects or methods. So in this video, I'm going to guide you through how to unit test your ontology-backed functions using Jest and the ontology unit testing API. And with that, let's get started. Since the last video, I've refactored our functions into two categories, computed properties and ontology edit functions. With the separation of responsibility, we have one class responsible for generating values on the fly, while the other can then rely on computed properties to be the single source of truth for dynamically computed values. I'll organize my test suites in the same manner. So we have a test suite for computed properties, and we have one for object editors. Let's first test our computed properties. Our testing environment is isolated from interacting with our real ontology, so we can't actually use real objects. Instead, the functions library allows us to create stubbed versions of objects, and we can initialize all of their properties ourselves. So I'm going to go ahead and paste in some initialization here. So as you see, we've created a couple of aircraft and a couple of airports and given them all primary keys. And now that we have our mock ontology, let's test the computed property functions we've written, starting with our lookup examples. As mentioned before, we don't actually have access to the real ontology during tests, so we need to mock object set queries. We can do so using the when object set testing utility. So let's take a look at an example. In this first test, we are asserting that our class correctly searches for all aircraft. Uh, the corresponding function, aircraft search example, does a search for all aircraft and orders by their tail number and then takes the first 10. So similarly, using the when object set utility, we mock that exact query. We search for aircraft, order them by tail number, and take the first 10. But in this case, we just say, hey, when you call this, return all aircraft, which we've defined as the set of aircraft we have up here. We can also mock link traversals between objects when testing. For example, we can set the link representing an aircraft's current airport in the test, and we can reference this relationship uh, even without needing to mock the API call. So here's an example of that. In this test, we're asserting that our class correctly looks up an aircraft's current airport, and we use the when object set utility, but we also just go ahead and set the airport using the API, uh, rather than actually mocking this API call. And so then we can expect uh, that when we look up an aircraft's current airport, it will actually, the primary keys of the two airports will actually match. Now, while we only tested reads in that last section, our functions unit testing library also provides powerful APIs for testing writes or ontology edits. In the case of our current airport update function, uh, this one right here, where we can update an aircraft's current airport. We can use the ontology edit verification utility to make sure the correct properties and links are updated. So a test for that could look something like this. We use the when object set API to mock this aircraft by tail number uh, function because aircraft by tail, num tail number all it does is actually make an object search API request and then we can assert using the verify ontology edit function utility that when we call this function 
it adds a link between aircraft three and airport three. Finally, authoring has built-in support for actually running your testing suite. So we can go ahead and click on this test button and run all the tests in the file. Oh, okay, looks like we had a test that failed. Uh, okay, so it was our last test, testing that we correctly update an aircraft's current airport. Looks like there were no edits found. Let's take a look, and it looks like we've actually forgotten to uncomment the actual setting of the current airport link. So let's make that fix and immediately run our test again. And great, they all pass. So now we can open up a PR to merge these into master. Thank you.